Nicola Ascom here. I'm back for another Ask the Data Governance Coach video. And in today's video, I want to answer the question, who owns the data that appears in reports or dashboards? Now, this is something I get asked quite a lot. And if you've watched any of my other videos or read my blogs, you probably know I feel quite strongly that data should be owned by one person wherever it resides in the organization. So hopefully from that, you're getting an inkling of the answer. You're right. I believe quite strongly that if the data showing in that report is the same data as it has always been, i.e. has not changed, then it's the original data owner. So if you have a data owner that owns customer data and you have a report or more likely a whole suite of reports that contain customer data, then the owner of that data is still the customer data owner. Now, of course, when you have reports, there are going to be multiple different um, data sources in them, and you might have many different data owners per report. So this is why quite often when I'm rolling out a data governance framework, I don't make it an official data governance role, but I work with the BI or MI, analytics team, whatever you call yours, to determine a role called report owner. So whoever first asked for that report to be set up, whoever gave you the requirements and then signed off on them, they are the report owner and they are the people who know why that set of data was brought together in that report or dashboard and what it is used for. But they don't own the data in it. If there's a problem with the quality of any of the data in that report, then you would follow the normal data quality issue resolution process and you'd go back to the original data owner to get that fixed. Now there is sometimes a slightly different alternative and that is a case where the data has been changed. Now I see that a lot when organizations are creating models or the report in some way aggregates data or transforms it, performs a calculation. So according to the way I like to do data ownership, this means the data has changed. It's no longer the data that it was originally. So if you have performed any calculation or transformation into the data and created something else as part of producing that report or dashboard, then this is now new data and the resulting data should have a data owner. Now, if it was closely related to the original data, it may be the same data owner, but it may be somebody else. And in those instances, it's often the consumer of that data, the person who has given you the requirements for what that calculation or aggregation is. Um, and they would be the data owner of the new data. I really hope that clarifies things for you. And just remember, if you have any questions that you would like me to answer in one of these videos, just email them in to questions at nicolaascom.com.